Walking around. Look who's coming. I don't know if you can pick them up with the lighting. What's up, Chewy? Black Spire Outpost, where they have these things, whatever they are. They have porgs. All kind of crazy critters in here. Whatever that thing is. Yeah, just about every Star Wars creature you can think of is in this store. And then some. These guys are pretty neat. These are like the banshees in Pandora. So they sit on your shoulder and do different things when you press buttons. So there's two different kinds. This one, pretty neat. Hey, we can finally see some things. The sun is coming up and you can see more of the detail. There is so much to see here. So much to see. Got some Jedi, this looks like a Jedi temple. Let's go take a look at the Millennium Falcon over here. Now that the lights aren't reflecting off my screen. Very impressive. You can see the stonework and the detail. This is just so impressive. Wait time is still 300 minutes. I think that might be the max because I think it's a little bit longer than 300 minutes. But wow, look at all the detail. Pretty amazing. Okay, here's a better look of what the stage looks like. Now that it's light out and you can see it a little bit better. This is still the line for the cantina and the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Edge. I think the line for the cantina is just as long as Smuggler's Edge. It's crazy weights. I'm just gonna film a little bit more. Here's where you get the blue milk, blue and green milk right over here. Still real crazy in here with people though. They are not letting any more people in. So this is, these are the people that got in this morning. Still real crowded. The droid area right outside the droid depot. Very detailed, very impressive. Interactive. Here's a better look at the, the droids. Very neat. A land speeder and a quad racer. Still in the garage, waiting to be worked on. That's pretty neat. Here's a look at the entrance to the marketplace as you're coming in. Looks even better in the daylight. You hear that TIE fighter just fly by? <laughs> the, the detail in this place is just incredible. I mean, everything looks rusty, old, like it came right from a Star Wars movie. This is, this is beyond my wildest expectations. Oh, there's Chewie again. All right, I'm gonna see what else I can see and then Probably head out. Yes, they have an X-Wing fighter here. Tell me that is not awesome. And even look, look at the detail in the background here. It's, wow. That is just amazing. When you walk in is the Rise of the Resistance ride, and that's not open yet. It'll be open later this year, um, but you can see they're still using it as a staging area. They have some stuff set up here, but 
um, should be pretty cool once it opens. All the garbage cans look like they're really dirty and filthy, but that's not the case. It's just the way they are colored. It looks like there's like chocolate or rusty or something spilled all over them, but that is not the case. They're very clean and not as dirty as they look. Okay, I'm gonna head out. I spent a couple hours in Galaxy's Edge. A couple things. They had plenty of water stations set up, so that was really, really helpful. Um, check out the bathrooms when you're here. The food, food was good. The food that I tried was really good. And um, there's lines. You can see the lines everywhere. Glad I got here early. I didn't really want to do anything specific, just walked around and filmed. So I hope you enjoyed. Please like this video and subscribe. And I think this is the last video I'll have for the day for Galaxy's Edge. So thanks for watching. Bye.